It is eight o'clock here on a Friday evening. I'm Adrian. Welcome to the Decades Challenge. And in case you had noticed, there are babies in the house now. Woohoo! And we have our next generation. This is Amelia Elderberry, and this is William Elderberry. And I have to apologize because I recorded two episodes yesterday, and you would have been able to see the birth of Amelia and William, but even though I recorded the audio, for whatever reason, I did not record the video. And so we're going to start the story off with the Elderberry twins already in the game. So thank you so much for joining me today. My objective is to get Willie out into the community as a Negro County agent. And as soon as daytime comes, he's going to start making his rounds. Holy crap, it's raining out there. Okay, we're going to do everything inside. I hope the chickens are okay because I don't know about going out there to take care of them. Yeah, they seem to be inside. I don't know where the chickens are. I'm going to have the chickens go in if I can because... Uh, no, they're already in. Okay, chickens are okay. So we're not going out there. Let me check on the babies. They seem to be okay. So I was hoping for a girl and I got a girl first and a boy second. So Amelia really is our next heir, but we'll play the two of them as a team, as a team for a while. Okay. These babies seem to be really good. They are quiet babies. So that's always up. Oh. <laughs> and whenever a mom says that a baby gets fussy, that's the rules of the universe. So, uh, Willie is eager to step in and help take care of the babies. And that's very sweet. After this weekend, he's going to go off to war. So he is not registered for another semester at university. Um, yeah, he's not. What I think Willie could do is go hang out at Hank's. Uh, travel. So he can travel to Hank's where he can go and make some music. All right, here he is. So he can go ahead and start playing. Mm. Hopefully he'll pick up some tips. He actually has a lot of money, which is surprising. Not sure why he has that much money is this darling no ayaka okay so hopefully he can make some tips the juke joint is not jumping it's not a jumping juke joint oh here come people all right is that alex moyer it is all right it's filling up is he gonna make tips that's right lady pull it out hell yeah fourteen dollars I think he's a level six pianist. He might be higher. Seven. Okay. He just became a level seven. Thank you. Oh, wow. She's really affected by this piano playing. Okay. He's done. <laughs> What's the matter, Willie? What is wrong with him? Okay, I th I think... Oh, okay, we know her. That's uh, one of the LeClaire sisters. Evelyn. Who's that? Oh, I love her hair. It's so pretty. What's that, dear? <laughs> so he gets his job is to get around the community and we'll talk about that a little bit later but at hank's joint i really want him to play let's play the blues that's what he's good for. i failed the smoke okay Oh, I'm digging the purple boots. Yeah. 
Okay, stop chatting. Do we know her? Is she related? Faith Hendrick? A lot of townies here today. I don't know any of these people. Except for her. She's dressed in that sorority outfit. The white and pink. There you go. Tips are appreciated, ladies. Thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Let's get him to go home. Okay. Let's get him to very quickly run in the house and just have a moment with his wife. She used to go with him to the club, but now she can't. You know, they've got kids now. I believe he has a camera. Okay, well, let's woohoo while we can. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, any woohoo between them is a try for baby. So, gotta, gotta hit that button. There we go. It is the 1940s. There is no casual sex here. Not quite yet. Walks a slang. So I think they both have good relationships with the twins, which is great. And yeah, one of the things I did, you may want to stick around until the very end so you can look at that. I've updated the genealogy charts and I, as much as possible, I went in and filled in the names of the next generation of characters that we have not played, but still exist in the universe. So if you're really interested in, hey, whatever happened to Michael Johnson and his family, you can see that in the Genio chart. The one thing I did not include in the Genio chart were was spouses. I decided only to include the spouses of the main characters. So you'll see the descendants, but you won't see the spouses. And just to be clear, because I don't want to show him going to the bathroom, these two, the twins are elderberry twins. If you recall, if you've just joined us, welcome. If you've been here a while, you know that Willie was raised by his stepfather, Rowan Elderberry, as his son. So Willie's last name is Elderberry. He later in life found out that Thomas Johnson was his father, but he kept his original last name. Even when Thomas married Petra, their biological son, Willie, kept his last name. And all of the siblings remained Elderberry except for Angelica, who is uh, the product of Thomas and Petra after they married. Is, is she going to be able to feed both of them? Yeah. Okay. And what happened in Rico's life is her grandfather died. She took that very hard, and in the two missing episodes, she struggled a little in the first episode. Willie, though, struggled for a long time because he's a gloomy sim, he has the gloomy trait, and he has deep bouts of depression. So he really struggled with that death um, more than Rico did, but now they're both back to feeling good, and life has kind of gotten back to normal now that the kids are, are around. Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning. And Willie is off doing some chores. 
which I didn't ask him to do, but I certainly appreciate it. I'm going to check on the chickens. They do have chickens. Oh, and there they are. Look at all the chickens. Oh, I think this means that. Oh, well, they're starving. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cluckers. I don't have a name for him, but I'm going to go ahead and scatter some feed. And I think the black one is the... Nope, there's the chick. Okay. I had the... Oh, he just fell. Oh, yikes. I had some trouble with the black hen and the black rooster where they got really dirty and I didn't know how to fix it. So I was going to trade them in, you know, send them to a farm upstate, but it didn't work out and they're back. Oh yeah, the black rooster did go. The black hen is still alive. I wasn't able to get her trade it for meat, which is fine. Um, but that's why the chickens look different. Now, I don't know at what point this chick grows up, but it has been a baby chick for a long time. And they were all unhappy. So I needed him not to go to bed, but to socialize with them. Ask the chicken about its future. Ask the white hen some stuff. If you've got some chicken names to suggest, please suggest those. I want happy chickens, but... Oh, he's got to go to work soon. Let's pet the rooster. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. I scared the white hen. I'm sorry. Okay, he better scatter some more feed because these chickens are dying. He's terrified because of the storm and because he got pecked at by the chicken. Sorry, peck happens. Oh, but that chicken's happy. Yes, yes. And our little clucker is happy. If you've got some chicken names, go ahead and suggest them. I'm open to anything. Good, he's clean and full. He's starving and unhappy. And she's starving and unhappy. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh, he's got to clean that. And... Hopefully we can get them back on even keel. What? Oh, boy. That was a little violent. Oh, man. Poor girl. Okay, he is tired. I don't know why he's so tired now. But we'll go ahead and get him off to work. Goodbye. All right, now let's see about Rico. She's actually doing well. We'll get him to work hard, but he's actually... Oh, did I do that right? Yeah, he actually is going to go off to war soon, so I'm not that terribly worried about his career. She's doing well. I think it would be nice to make a honey cake so she can learn how to really make honey cake. Yes. That's a level one. She ought to be able to taste that honey cake. Okay, there's already a cake in the fridge, but whatever. I also changed Rico's looks a little bit. I think as a mom, she's going for a less fussy design or less fussy style than she had before. Um, she had a very youthful style with a long braid or a long twist. And now she's kind of doing an updo, which is a lot faster and better because, you know, babies need stuff. And I have no control over this mouse. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on there. She's a bottle feeder. That's just a choice. Oh, Harry, Harry with the cake. There's our honey cake. Aw, don't put it on the living room table. Okay, fine. Put it on the living room table. So good. I think it might be nice for Willie to come home and see that honey cake because that is something that he grew up with, with his mom, Petra who was taught to make honey cake by his grandmother, Ruby May, and his aunt slash godmother, Gladys. Why is she standing there? If you don't change this child's diaper. Good. Baby's quiet. Let's go ahead and cuddle this guy. And then we'll come back to Amelia and bounce her. All right, let's get her to go to sleep. The babies are quiet, so we'll take advantage of that. 
Uh, I have a child and one of the best lessons I learned as a young mother was sleep when the baby sleeps. You never know when that opportunity is coming again. Oh, geez, he just smelled his own armpits and found it displeasing. So I want him to go out to the community, but I do want him to take a bath first. Let me see what his other needs are. He's super tired. Just super tired. Okay, but he got a promotion to backhoe. Congratulations. Did that come with some money? Yes, it did. A couple hundred dollars for you, sir. I love that we have a girl because I'm going to be very excited to play in the 60s with a female character. I'm looking forward to that. So they have a greenhouse that has, uh, you have to go outside to get into it. I'll show you what the porch looks like. So you have to go outside of the main house and go into the greenhouse, but that is where she is. And I thought she was going to play chess, but I think she changed her mind, but I do want her to harvest. And I don't want her to sell. I just want her to harvest. She's a botanist. She loves this sort of thing as much as her husband does. So I think this is actually therapeutic. Uh oh, baby needs baby needs us. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, dad's gonna have to get up and care for Amelia. She's probably needs to be fed. Okay, forget all this other stuff. Oh, mom's on the case. Okay, let's see who got to the baby first. Oh, he's tired. Okay, so I, I will put her... Alright, let's get her doing garden work. These things need to be weeded and sprayed for bugs. Weed, weed, weed. Good. They also need to be harvested. You know what they don't need? They don't need water. Oh, I see some evolution. Yay! Evolve. And, oh, I see another evolution. Not that. No, just the one. But but she can harvest these, so that's good. Still, she'll harvest, harvest everything. I knew I saw evolution. Here it is. I think this, yeah, this was uh, her aspiration to evolve five plants. So she's got... Two under her belt, and soon to be three. Oh, it's William's birthday. Oh, the twins are going to age up soon. Good. Okay. Is that four? That's four. Did he go to sleep? Oh, he is so... A lot of work. So I think we're going to see our little babies grow up today. I wasn't expecting that, but it certainly makes sense. Symology. Oh, wrong character. Okay, whatever. Okay, she's hungry and tired, but look at her. She's quite the housewife trying to clean this place up a little bit. Let's get her to get something to eat. There should be leftovers in here. Yeah, there's Beef Wellington. I think Rico is happy. She seems really happy with her life. I'm glad. And her house is be beautifully surrounded by art. Okay, she's going to go to bed now. And Willie should just be rounding the corner. Nope, still tired. Okay. So it's not traditional that a man would do this much work with the children. But one, they're twins. And you know how weird Sims gets about not taking care of babies fast enough. And two, I think he would help her because... He seems like that kind of guy. You know, he, he raised his siblings after his mother died. And yeah, what's the matter, baby? Good. Okay, so maybe she will be quiet enough for him to grab some food. Yeah, he's going to eat some peas. I'll take care of the dishes, sir. There you go. Nothing like a big bowl of peas. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, it's terrifying out there. Oh, the babies need us. Oh, these babies are a lot of work. Amelia aged up. Ah, she's angelic. Okay, here we go, William. William didn't age up. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take a moment to to change their looks a little bit. There's William, and please be independent. He's angelic. They are a pair of baby angels. That's good. So I'm going to end this episode right here with our little toddlers. And we will change out their bedroom a little bit and also change their looks so that they fit in more with the period. And in the next episode, our Willie is going off to war. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you love this episode, please subscribe. I'm Adrian, and I wish you a good day. Bye now.